today, instead of telling you how to recover, I'm going to be showing you how. a brutal workout and felt horribly sore, couldn't walk upstairs, had the need to hold on to everything everywhere you're going, limping like a zombie at school or work, or maybe you couldn't sit down on the toilet seat when you went to go to the bathroom. Whatever reason you exercise for, recovery is a key element in taking care of your body, so you don't have those moments. Trust me, we've all had them. They're not pretty. My name is Jordan Kelly. I'm a 17-year-old high schooler, and I've swam at US Open, and I'm currently committed to Division One swimming at the University of Louisville. I'm also friends with a couple Olympians. I'll try to be quick because I gotta get out soon. In this video, stay to the end because I'm sharing a bunch of tips that you probably don't know. Trust me, there's some good ones. You're gonna wanna do cold tubs after your workout, not before. They help reduce inflammation, swelling, slow down blood flow, and are great for flushing out lactic acid. You could also use a ice pack or cold shower if you don't have a tub like I do. Now heat, on the other hand, that's where you get the hot tub for. Hot tubs are great for flushing out your system. I'd like to take the hot tubs after my workout. You don't want to take it right after. It's best to take your cooling first, then the hot after. You can also use a sauna. You can use a heating pad. You could also use uh, warm showers even. I personally like hot tubs, you know, late at night. And yeah, after a long day, they're the best. Number three, sleep. Duh. It's the number one most important thing your body needs to recover. Whether it's getting a lot of hours, Going to bed at an early reasonable time and waking up at the same time, it's always good to have consistency. I think it's good to elevate your feet. You know, you can wear a face mask when you go to bed so that everything's blacked out. Make sure the temperature in the room is pretty cold. You're quiet as possible. And then no phone or blue light before going to bed. I know it's hard, but you know, we all do it. You could get these, these blue glasses, but I'm not really sure if they work because I got them a while ago and they're just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I, just, Put your phone down. Simple as that. Come on, guys. Number four, immediate carbs and protein after practice. Protein, I stick with RX because they have less ingredients and not any bad oils. And I have almond milk soap because I'm a little lactose sensitive. There are better options than this, but they're expensive and I have a budget. So, you know, we work with what we got. Supplement wise, I take casein powder overnight. This helps slowly release proteins in my body while I'm sleeping so that I'm refueled for the next day. It tastes terrible with water, so don't do that. Um, I like to put it in a smoothie, strawberry, pineapple, whatever you feel at the day. It just makes it a little bit taste better. You know, in terms of other supplements, I don't really take creatine or anything else. Um, mostly because I'm an athlete and there's a lot of reason for possible cross-contamination with like banned substances. So I just stick to general food. <laughs> just eat a lot of food, burn it off through workouts. It, that's what I stick with. If you're looking for other supplement things, I do take vitamins daily. Clean Athlete's great because they're approved by NSF, which means that you can take them for sports. For swimming, it's great. I eat lots of, of omega-3 fatty acids, fish and guac and you know, all that good, good stuff. I mean, a lot of, a lot of calories, you know, but it's uh, what I got to do. Number five is meditation. I think this is great because it promotes emotional health and self-awareness. For me, it just makes me feel good and happy. Um, I get a lot of good thoughts when I'm meditating because I'm just breathing properly. You know, it's good to breathe through your, ch your stomach if you didn't know that. Um, but I use Headspace as an app to help guide me through my sessions, or I just sit in silence, which leads us into number six, Less stress, less mess. It's always great to have less stress in your life. It is difficult, but if you always accept who you are and what you feel, it'll always be easier to move on. Number seven, stretching and yoga. There's dynamic and static. Some static stretches are this, that, these, and those. And some dynamic stretches are bada beep, bada boop, bada bing. Uh, those are just some of my favorites. Number eight, rolling out. Okay, there's a lot of stuff you can choose from. So I'm gonna hit you guys with some weapons of choice. Machine gun ready. Tennis ball, spike ball, lacrosse ball, baseball, vibrating ball, ice ball, rolly ball, any ball. Okay, maybe not that one. That's kind of <laughs> the flat stick roller, a bumpy stick roller, a broken stick roller, a leg roller, a back roller, a vibrating roller. <gasps> 
And of course, the vibrating gun, which is my favorite. This one's from Costco. It's a great cheap version. I'll also leave a link in the description for a bunch of other items if you want. To roll out properly, you don't need to spend too much time. Five to 15 minutes before or after a workout is great. 30 seconds per sore part is good. Don't be a crazy person digging deep in the skin there. I mean, it's good to be uncomfortable when you roll out, but to a point, you, you guys gotta know your limit for your body. Number nine, you could get a massage from a family member, a masseuse. Massages from masseuses can cost a little money, so it's always good to find a family member that's willing to do it. If not, you can just roll out by yourself because it does the same stuff, it's just more work. Um, I think massages are great, especially for athletes. When it comes to that championship season time of the year, you gotta be getting those somehow because they're, they're just, they help you relax your muscles so much and they're, they feel so good, guys. Come on, you, like if you haven't had one before, please get one after seeing this video. It's just worth it. Number 1,000, sorry, number 10, warm down. It's always so important to warm down after you work out, whether it's swimming, running, treadmill, going on a walk, you know, even, even doing some like little wiggles, you know, just you know, some arm swings or something to use the muscles that you just used that have a lot of lactic acid built up in them over the workout. Yeah, just do it. Number 11, stay off your legs. Use them for a workout, guys. It's simple as that, especially if you're an athlete. You're competing for the competition, right? I, I hope that's what you guys are doing. One, number 12, make sure you have a good posture and neck position. This is important because it prevents injury. And also, if you're looking up in the horizon, it also just promotes confidence and you're more, you know, you're more powerful. You're more presenting of yourself. Number 13, you could use a TENS unit. I use it after I ice or while I ice, I guess. It helps just send electromagnetic waves to your body somehow. I, I, I don't know the whole math behind it, but it's good for you. It feels good. It, it's like basically a mini massage kind of. Number 14 is leg compression. I know that lots of popular athletes use these. Michael Phelps has them. He also has uh, leg compression, like ballerina leg things. That's what I call them because they look like tights, I guess. Um, but those are a better option if you're looking for a cheap, affordable re thing. But, you know, they, like they squeeze your muscles and then like release and it, it's good. I like them. They're cool. And last but not least, acupuncture and cupping. Um, I haven't done either of these. Um, I might in the future because I'm an athlete, but... They do help with blood circulation and sedate the nervous system. So they're both really good options if you're training for a competition or some sort of workout. I have one more tip for you, and I think it's one of the best ones. You could take Erica's DNA test. It's one of the greatest things I've ever done. You'll learn about your own genetic build, your recovery speed, aerobic capacity, food sensitivities, and even vitamin deficiencies. There's so much more, but that's just a few. You can book your free 30-minute discovery call today. Just click the link in the description. It's worth your time. You'll set a meeting up. They'll tell you everything about it. You'll get in the mail. You'll get a package with the cheek swab. It takes two minutes to do your cheek swab. Send it back, and then you'll get results. You can go, they go over the whole thing with you so you're not confused. And it's just so worth your time, especially this discovery call because it's it's literally free. So there's no harm in doing it. <laughs> if you have any questions about my channel or anything from this video, please comment below. I will answer if you have a question. I'm trying YouTube and this is my efforts. So I'm trying to build a community. Other than that, watch my next video here, subscribe here, and I'll see you guys later.